In today's video, I want to go over a lesser used suckless program because, well, everybody and their dog has created videos on DWM, ST, and D menu. I mean, myself included. But today I want to shine a light on a lesser used suckless program called SL Status. And it's honestly probably the easiest suckless program to configure. And it has completely replaced my DWM bar script and DWM blocks for me. But don't get me wrong, I'm still using some of the scripts that I've written for each. And I've even added some stuff to them to make them a little more useful. So, let's get started. So here we are in our very lightly patched DWM running on Debian Buster. And when I say lightly patched, I mean very lightly. I think I've only patched one thing into it and that was the auto start patch because I wanted to play around with light DM and having things installed the Debian way where it's actually just stem linked around and never actually run sudo make install. And as you can see, I've been pretty successful with it. And that it does work, but without running sudo make install so uh the the package the binary package is actually just symlink to, sim to different places and i have had trouble with just putting things in my home slash bin or home slash dot local slash bin directory as far as having scripts in the path because if you didn't have light dm installed it would be you know no problem just it would just call your dot profile if the, if these directories exist, put them in the path. Whereas if you have like DM or any other display manager installed, it's a little different. And of course, you can put things in your bash RC to add those directories to your path. But I've experienced some weirdness, and I have found that it's not best practice, but better results. Are, are achieved by adding those binaries or packages rather to the slash user local bin directory. So that's what I'm going to be doing today because I've had more consistent success with that. So right now I don't have anything up here for my status bar. I mean I can I have my DWM bar script and DWM blocks and all that kind of stuff, but I want to use SL status today. And to get SL status, it's pretty straightforward. So let's just fire up a terminal. And let me fix this mic. It's kind of weird and in the way. So now let's do get clone https colon slash slash get dot buckless dot org slash SL status. And this is actually going to get this from the Suckless website. And if we run an LS, you see that we do have SL status here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move SL status to my Suckless folder. I probably should have been in the Suckless folder when I did this, but oh well, hindsight's 2020. So let's MV SL status to Suckless. Now we can CD into Suckless. And SL status. So now we're going to make the package. You're going to need GCC and Make installed on the system. So if you if if they're not installed, simple enough. sudo apt install GCC Make Y Y. And see, I already have them installed, so we're good to go. Clear the screen, and now let's run Make. And that made pretty pretty easily. So if we look in our config.h, it is a really short config.h if you were to take out all of the comments and stuff. But the comments are honestly there for a reason. They will actually give you a template for whatever modules you want to include in your status bar. So there's functions and stuff in here for battery percentage, battery state, battery remaining, CPU percentage, CPU frequency, I'm, I'm not going to read them all, I promise, uh, IPv4, 
uh, nets your network speed, your your RAM uh, information, like uh, your percent used, your total RAM, used RAM, RAM free, uh, your swap percentage, your temperature. But one thing that's really cool about this is your run command. You can, if you can write a shell script that will put information out to STD out, you can include it in SL status, which I think is really, really cool. So a lot of your scripts, whether you wrote them yourself or you got them from wherever, to include in your DWM bar script or DWM blocks or whatever, can be used in SL status. And one thing that's nice about this, SL status also has support for icons. So if you have stuff, you know, something like font awesome icons or any kind of nerd font or whatever installed on the system, you can use those in SL status. I have font awesome icons installed on this system here. So I'm going to edit this part right here of the config, and we're going to uh, simulate this to user local bin, log out, log and uh, log out and log back in after we put the SL status in our auto start script and this right here should be populated with whatever we have here. Let's get started with that. Personally I don't care for this format on the date time so what I'm going to do I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to have it do let's say percent oh it would probably help if I were in insert mode. So percent a comma percent b space percent d and then percent capital r honestly that's my favorite format to have it in because well that's what i'm used to but i want this to be the one i want this date time to be to the far right so everything i add from this point on is going to be above date time but below function format argument so now Let's add a line, and let's say I want to have my CPU percentage on there. And if we, if you remember back up here, this is going to be what it's named. This is what it does, and this is the argument for it. So what I'm going to do, create the little module. Curly brackets and a comma. Then get back inside the curly brackets, and we're going to call this CPU underscore PERC. And add a comma. Now. Let's add quotation marks and let's say CPU colon. And if you've used the printf command, this is going to be really, really similar. So what we're going to do is percent s and then followed by two percent signs. So what that's going to do with the two percent the two percent signs following the s is actually going to give us a literal percent sign after our CPU percentage number. And I want to actually have these separated, and I'm going to use a pipe to separate these. So I'm going to put a space, pipe, I'm going to close the, uh, close the quotation marks, add a comma, tab out, and we're going to do null, and then add a space. And that right there is done. So let's do one for RAM percentage as well. Curly brackets and a comma, get back into the curly brackets. Now we're going to do RAM underscore PERC comma tab out and in quotation marks we're going to do RAM colon and I tell you what I'm going to add some spacing in here too. We're going to do percent S percent percent space pipe in the quotations and add another comma tab out and null one more time. And let me just go back and make sure that I'm right. RAM percentage. Yep, we are good. I don't know. Let's do the run command. Because I have a weather script that I've made and, and pulled into the system. I've included that in the Spectre WM videos and the DWM videos. And honestly, I'm just not going to go over it today. But if you're, if you're interested in that, it's called weather.sh. It's, it's on my GitHub. And I'll, and I'll leave a link to my GitHub down below. So what I'm going to do, curly brackets and a comma, same as usual. But now we're going to do run underscore command and add a comma. 
now I'm going to do percent two s space pipe and a comma and then we're going to put the path to our weather bar script see I have a, I have a script called weather.sh which will actually go out and get the information and then weather bar.sh will take that information and format it in a certain way to use what we want and it will actually use some of the fun awesome icons and all that so what I'm going to so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call this weatherbar.sh and that should be good so let's go ahead and make this file and let's just get everything ready so now let's do colon wq to write it out let's make one more time and it looks like i have them it looks like i have something wrong here okay i have the comma in the wrong spot all right let's make that again and we're good now let's now let's sim link it to user local bin so let's sudo ln dash sf home slash suckless sl status and the output is sl status now when you now we need to give it the path uh location slash user local bin now we need to go home and let's cd into dot dwm and you see we have an auto start dot sh uh script here so let's vim auto start dot sh the things that i have running to make this look a little better uh first it's running an x render dash s to make it uh 1080p then it's running compton now i'm running nitrogen dash dash restore so after that after it sets the wallpaper i want it to execute my sl status script so to execute sl status it's a c program and not a script so it's not going to work if you just type in sl status what you're going to have to do is actually do exec space sl status and i'm going to put an upper sign at the end as well so now let's write and quit exit out of that let's quit sign back in and you see we have our status bar here we're, we're showing cpu zero percent ram four percent and now we have icons here for because it says it's sunny and 69. so i haven't added it to the cron to the cron tab yet for every 30 minutes to update so we'll, let's go ahead and update it weather.sh and now it says that it's clear in 59 degrees let's open up firefox and let's get some better I want to get rid of the CPU and RAM here. And I want to go back with some icons here to make everything look a little better. So what I want to do is open Firefox. And you see I haven't patched anything here, so <laughs> it's still opened up on tag nine. I'm gonna move that to tag one. And let's go to font awesome heat sheet. And I believe it's the second one. Yes, it is because it is the 4.7.0 icon set. So for the CPU, let's scroll down here, and I think the there's a microchip down here that we can use. And everything's in alphabetical order, so I sh it shouldn't be that hard to, to locate. There it is. Let's copy that, and now let's. CD into suckless SL status and then vim config.h. So what I'm going to do is go into insert mode. And since I've copied this, I should be able to just do shift and insert. And it's not going to show the icon here because I'm using URXVT and I haven't done much to get the uh Find awesome icons and all that working in that. So let's find one for the RAM, even though it's just going to show 
a square here it should it should show the actual microchip up here once we get done so let's find us a ram icon uh i have been using just the little server icon so let's let's just use it again and i went past it went past it again there it is copy that shift and insert now let's write and quit let's run make again now we can log out log back in and you see that we have our icons set up properly so that's about all I've got for today. I just kind of wanted to show off a, a second option or third or fifth or 76th option for a status bar in DWM. And honestly, I, I really like SL status. I like it better than DWM blocks, even though uh, I know there's patches and stuff for DWM blocks that you can add click actions and all kind of stuff to that. And I don't really use that. I've I have set it up and, and I have been successful creating click actions and stuff for DWM blocks, but I found myself not really using it. So if I can use a suckless program that will give me the functionality that I do use from DWM blocks and it doesn't give me some of the weirdness that comes along with DWM blocks and it, it's more consistent, why not use that? So that's that was my thought process behind all that. I have really liked SL status. It, you can actually add, uh, and all the different uh, modules and stuff will update independently as well. So you can set different times and and stuff for uh, updates. But you can you can also have uh, let's say you wanted a volume thing, you and you have key bindings and stuff set up for. Uh, adjusting your volume though so that will actually update how it's supposed to out of the box in SL status without any kind of configuration aside from calling you know a you know a mixer or Pavu or PA mixer or whatever that you are using for your sound server anyway uh, I just wanted to show that off and it has been fantastic and I really was just wanted to shine a light on a somewhat lesser used uh, suckless program because it's fantastic so thank you for watching y'all have a nice day like share and subscribe